Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 9th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, giving you your space weather and as well earthquakes and a look at world weather today. Look at the last 48 hours of imagery of our sun. Some amazing stuff here, but we did have quite an event here. Look in the last few images along the, equ the equator of our sun. Big plasma filament eruption creating a coronal mass ejection. And this was in an Earth direction. So Earth directed coronal mass ejection. Halo CME observed on Lasco. Having a look at the ingoing and outgoing images here. You're going to see in the center right here. The most recent event big plasma filament ripping away and some of it slapping back to the surface. Closer look at the last 48 hours of events. Different filter used tonight. Hopefully it's a little softer on the eyes. Was looking for that. But wow, amazing eruption here on our sun. Earth directed coronal mass ejection. Expected arrival within the next 24 hours. This thing is going to be moving hyper fast. Having a look at multi-spectrum coronal holes, northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere right now. Plasma filaments stretching across the equator and through the northwest, southwest, southeast, northeast. The sun is really putting on a show here for solar cycle 25, which is a maximum producing more solar output during an 11 year cycle. Next will be a minimum. Having a look here at the five sunspot regions and as well, big one in the outgoing. But most notable here imagery, you can see the sunspot that created that plasma filament eruption. Look how fast that thing was moving. This is only 48 hours of imagery and it literally moved probably about the length of eight Earths, 10 Earths, that sunspot region. Current space weather conditions, 473 kilometers per second. Nothing to report, though. Just the solar proton flux. Solar X-ray flux remains in a B and C range. No major solar flares to talk about since yesterday. Solar proton flux elevated here. Geomagnetic activity still slightly up there. Three and a four KP index. Having a look at the Aurora forecast for tonight, not too much to talk about tonight. 20 to 30 percent chance. But this is the big news here, folks, the coronal mass ejection. And you, you'll be able to see it here on Lasco 2. Right there. Small flash and you'll see all of that energy propelling all around the center disk there. There is yesterday's big plasma shot. And then we slow that right down and boom. That is an earth directed CME. Watch for the uh, the newest images as they come in. Daily events worldwide will be producing them. Having a look at Lasco 3, a little broader image of it. Showing the last two days of imagery. Cosmic energies leaving our sun. Big CME. Right there, taking off towards Venus. Got Mars in the background. And a halo CME. And look at this beast of a CME. Iswa Space Prediction Spiral already updating it. Expected arrival 11th into the 12th. So they have 24 to 48 hours probably. It, it will probably be here within 36 hours. We shall see. Space Weather Prediction Center showing the same thing. Large plasma blast taking off from our sun. A little closer look here. A little green circle is Earth. And the other two things are satellites, stereo A and stereo B.
Now, this is the kind of stuff that we need to be warned about, folks. Because sometimes that could be moving even faster than it is now, and we won't even have time to update you. Now, let's get to earthquakes the last 24 hours, as we're still sitting slightly above, still seeing activity here at the Band of Sea, 4.3 ranging up to 5.1 today, as well as 5.4 here, eastern Papua New Guinea. 4.7 stretching across into Fiji, 4.6, 4.9. Deepest through Fiji region is 161 kilometer depth. So peculiar right now is we're not seeing the deep earthquakes. Interesting zero action here. Philippines plate and up into Japan. Minor activity increasing through Alaska. And we've still got this Mentone, Texas. And as well, White City, New Mexico, earthquake swarm happening. 3.3 just uh, reported recently in White City, moving westward now this swarm is. And just northward, I mean, just look at here. They're fracking all over the place. It's a fracking mess down there. This is a volcanic table. Let's have a look at the last seven days. All magnitude. Boom. Yeah, that was the 5.2 Colson Draw, Texas. That happened yesterday. And then look at all of those most recent earthquakes. Last seven days, all magnitude. So definitely something is building. What is? I don't know. What? It's just a very peculiar place for an earthquake swarm. I mean, not to mention all the fracking that's going on, but it's just eastward of a large volcanic chain, part of the Rocky Mountain Pass. Look at these earthquakes, folks. This is the last 28 days. This is the last month for earthquakes. Minor activity there, northward, all across the New Madrid, minor activity. Just wanted to give you a glance here at the last 30 days for shakers across the world, according to USGS. I mean, look at all the earthquakes here, Puerto Rico, California, all around the California basin. North American plate under a lot of stress. Caribbean plate, quiet today, only reporting 1, 2.7. San Pablo, Peru, 5.1 earthquake. Calama, Chile, 141 kilometer depth. I believe that is the deepest earthquake the last 24 hours. And then right after last night's update, just after midnight, a 4.6 earthquake struck Volker, Iceland. So that is north towards Reich Jane's, the city, North of the Blue Lagoon, five earthquakes through the region. So heads up, Iceland, Blue Lagoon. Um, tourists are already leaving the area and are warned not to come. There's not quite evacuation orders yet, but it most likely will be coming. Having a look at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world, largest being the 7.1 the Banda Sea, followed by a 6.7 interesting earthquakes through Nepal region taking many lives thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected there still trying to dig family members out then we've got the new activity through Iceland again and volcanologists and geologists believe that this could be a larger eruption than the past three in the past four years so heads up Wanted to share with you these windy models of some massive low pressure systems right now across the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. Things are building up big time, especially heading through the Mediterranean this week. Watch for a doozy of a storm across the Pacific Ocean. Big systems heading northward and as well up into Alaska. And then look at this beast of a system in the long range coming out of China. Southern hemisphere doing the same thing. Australia is going to have a bunch of low pressure systems locked as a huge low pressure system south of them. Look at these big things, man. This is getting out of hand. 
But this is the stuff that I've been talking about, stuff that I've been warning everybody about. It's happening, and it's going to get worse. So heads up. Much love, everybody. It's about to get very windy. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.